Welcome back, everybody, and you are looking at the newest footage of a large, brand new comet hurling its way towards the sun. Now, this is all the footage we have right now because this is actually happening in current time, but again, this is quite large compared to some of the others we've seen, which means after perihelion, when it's closest to the sun, it may come out the other end, and we will then be able to watch it exit with the absolute potential of it returning at some point. Now, don't go away too quickly because we have some weird things to talk about leading up to and then during this comet's approach. Now, I've just recently learned specifically from suspicious observers that as these comets, these sun divers approach the sun, we generally see an uptick in CMEs. And you could clearly see in this video, we have not one, but two CMEs and fairly large ones at that, that take place as this thing moves into screen of the Lasco satellite camera. Now that alone is amazing how a comet can actually cause the sun to start reacting to it while it's still hundreds of thousands of miles away. And even more important than that is as this thing gets closer and closer to the sun, we're going to see more and more CMEs. And we need to watch out to see if any of these are Earth facing at that time. Any action on the sun is a clear cut threat to the Earth at any given time. Now, as I said earlier, some weird things happen leading up to the comet entering the view of the satellite camera. And I'm going to slow this video down so we can get each screenshot. And here is the first of those before it even enters frame. As you can clearly see, this grouping of lines or could be meteors, a group of meteors, seems to be passing in front of or behind the sun. Now, I've caught these many times and it is very interesting. Now, not only is it captured on this version of the Lasco cameras, but it is also caught in the negative version, meaning that these objects are actually there. More than likely, a grouping of meteors traveling in front of or, as I said, behind the sun. But again, I want your thoughts on what you think these these may be. I've heard everything from ships to some sort of advanced technology, almost in a weapons type idea. And for those of you that follow me closely, I find stuff, I find these types of things around the sun all the time in all the different satellite cameras. Some of the craziest images you'll ever see, in fact. And I don't want to get too crazy on you, but nonetheless, this is a very interesting shot specifically because these things are happening right before the approach of the comet. Now, here is the next shot. As we continue the original video, it should be showing up right about now and you can clearly see the comet is still not in view yet and there's another one that comes while the comet is making the approach but this one has some sort of tail breaking off behind it it's got an odd shape it could be some sort of it could be some sort of space rock breaking up but again I've been told in comments in past videos where I cover these things it could be some type of ship or technology we don't know about yet but the fact that it's being picked up on both the positive and negative cameras is what really sticks out now we're taking a look at the C2 camera. We were looking at the C3, but check these out. Both popping up at the same exact time and both big enough to where, in my opinion, these are not camera glitches. Who knows what these things might be? There have always been talks, specifically in the UFO community, that there are ships that harness the energy of any sort of sun eruption, CMEs, and sometimes we get some amazing views, just like I showed you in the pictures before this, of these things all around our sun, specifically during high solar activity. All right, and as I keep this in real time, we're moving through the video, and the last of our anomalies is about to pop up. There it is. Now, I assure you, this is not a sun flare, and I'll prove that by playing the rest of the video once we talk about this. Now, as you can see, that big chunk that almost looks like a CME, that's actually a whole separate object. There is no CME taking place at this point, and then we almost get like a tube shape with a centerpiece connecting the two of them. Now, that is also interesting because it's rare to see anomalies of this size taking place place at any time but again I feel like this has to do with the fact that the approaching comet is affecting the sun and could possibly I say possibly strongly could be leading or drawing in a ship of some sort or multiple ships as we can see that want to harness the energy of these CMEs I know it sounds crazy to some people but if you do enough research there are plenty of videos out there in fact there's a famous one where a big giant ball looks like it's connected to the sun and then pulls away and you can almost see a plasma detachment as if that's how this thing was being refueled. It's a famous video on YouTube. I've played it before. But again, just to show you that there are anomalies around the sun constantly. And in some cases, they get blocked out if caught quick enough. But since we watch these cameras on a regular basis, we usually catch them before that happens. And that's why sometimes we get these amazing videos. And finally, just to show you that that last one was not a CME, you're going to see this in real time. I'll play it a couple times just so your eye can catch it because it happens 
happened so fast, there's no way it was a CME. Here it comes again, watch closely, boom. And then one more time as the video plays through, it's gonna reset, and finally, there it is again. So absolutely no CME in this video. That is some sort of anomaly that we need to figure out and I've been trying to figure out for years now. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the comet in the next few days. I will show you that thing as it attempts to wrap around the sun and survive. We'll see what happens. 90% of the time, these things do not survive as they pass closest to the sun reaching perihelion. But sometimes we do get those that pop out the other side and survive. And if that happens, that will be even cooler to see in a full video i appreciate each and every one of you special shout out to canada i miss you so much already i hope everyone has a good rest of their evening and i will see you all in the next video take care bye bye stop right there my friends if you have not already click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon click all and you will get all notifications from this channel and trust me you won't be disappointed